Welcome back lads to another epic BRE Sunday event. Once again we've got the Bretonians versus the Coalition forces in an epic 500 player battle. Remember, every unit you see today is a player. Janzak has been taken but at what cost? Our men are tired with supply routes yet to be set up. BRE reinforcements have been spotted on the horizon and marched towards our position. The fight for Janzak is not over. We start today's fight straight into the action. The BRE cavalry are skirting round the edges looking to pick off any stragglers. Both teams are racing for a superior position on the hill next to the church in the distance. The Kingdom of Hordaland are bringing up the rear. To the right in the distance you can see the BRE forces heading in the same direction. Both forces are racing to the church. Whoever gets there first will have the superior defensive position. If the coalition stand any chance, they're gonna need to take that before the BRE. The BRE are normally so organized with their formations, they know they have to get to the top of the hill before the coalition. They're just running as quick as they can. The KOH there on the right, just in front of the BRE. It's pretty close though. It looks like the coalition have just got here before them. The race to the top is over. The coalition have taken flag A on top of the hill. The BRE seeing this, regather their forces and attack as one. Oh, but what's this? The Coalition are out of position. Those walls are too high to jump over. There's a narrow gap that all of those men must fit through. Oh, it's looking close, guys. Are oh, the Coalition going to get caught out here? Oh, my goodness, that was so close. Most of the Coalition forces make it inside the church in time. A few get caught out and are swiftly cut down. Over in the back of the fight, you can see the BRE have found a section of wall that's a little bit shorter. And they're going round the flanks. They're also charging on the left, getting round the side, trying to take out those arches. The Coalition are off to a good start. They have slightly more numbers, about 20 more than the BRE currently. Unlike the last battle, this is very close quarters. Very little room to manoeuvre, a lot of opportunity for team hits. Right now, archer fire is almost useless. You stand equal chance of hitting a friend or foe. With the church surrounded by walls, cavalry are going to find it hard to make a few strikes. That said, anyone who steps outside will be swiftly mowed down by those horses. I've never seen a battle this quick, guys. The numbers are dropping so quickly. The coalition is still slightly ahead in numbers, but only half what they were earlier. Oh, and look at that! The BRE have turned it around. Their numbers are more than the Coalition now. How they turned that around, I've got no idea. There must be some great fighters on the BRE team today. We enter the last few minutes of the battle. The Coalition are barely holding on by a thread, but they could still win this. They're slightly down, but it's not impossible. The Coalition fall back into a narrow alleyway, 300 style. Down this small path, the BRE numbers count for nothing. They have to come one at a time. Oh, it's so close, guys. Honestly, anyone can win this. Oh, 
Oh, the Coalition have pushed back through the alleyway over the walls. I think that's it, guys. The BRE have taken this while the Coalition took Janzak in the first episode. In this one, the BRE's counter-attack has driven them out. We have lost the battle, but not the war. The Coalition retreat to save the territory and begin planning the next attack. We must find a way through these BRE defences. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you think I did a good job, please like, comment and subscribe below. These events take place every Sunday. I personally play for the Kingdom of Horde Land. I'll put a link to our Discord below. I'll see you in the next one.